I have this DIY wood hat that I got from Michaels for $6.99, and it's the Americana theme. I'm going to start by painting the entire thing using my Wise Owl Snow Owl, and I'm just going to do one good coat of the Snow Owl paint. And then I'm going to allow that to fully dry. Once dry, I'm going to take some blue painter's tape. And I'm just going to tape off the bottom section of the hat. Now this wood cutout has the engraved lines so that you can just follow the lines to help you paint it. I'm going to take my Wise Owl Republic Red. And I'm going to start on the first stripe of the top portion of my hat. And I'm just going to fill in every other line with the Wise Owl Republic Red. Now I'm just using a small art brush. Your lines do not have to be perfect. And then I'm going to remove the painter's tape. Next I'm going to use some of the Wise Owl Bowie. And I'm just going to fill in the rectangle below my stripes. It has some of the stars engraved in it as well. And I'm going to give that one good coat. And again, I'm just following the engraved lines that were already in my hat. And if you don't have a steady hand, that's okay. You just want to fill it in the best that you can. I'm going to take a 220 grit sanding block and just sand everything once it was fully dry. And you can distress this as much as you'd like. And then I'm just using the blow dryer to just remove the dust from the sanding. Next, I'm taking my Wise Owl Furniture Salve and my 2-inch palm brush, and I'm going to give the hat a top coat. As you can see, this brightened up the paint, and I'm just going to use the paper towel to rub in the Furniture Salve. Next, I'm going to take some Wise Owl Chocolate, and my brush was a little wet, and I'm just using a very small amount of the chocolate paint, and I'm covering the entire hat with it. And then I just take some paper towels, and I rub in the chocolate paint. Now this is just going to give it a little bit of an antiquing look and this will help hide any imperfections as my lines are not perfect. I'm going to use a star stencil that I got from Hobby Lobby and a small foam dabber. I'm just going to take some Wise Owl Snow Owl and dab over the stars stencil. And I'm just going across the blue band here. And then we want that to fully dry. I got this mop head from the Dollar Tree. And there's a plastic piece at the top that holds the mop together. And I'm just going to cut that off. It came off very easily. And then I'm just going to take all the strands here, put them in one group, and find the center. I'm going to use my rotary cutter and just cut down the center of the strands. And I have this large popsicle stick. Using my hot glue gun, I'm going to glue the strands to the popsicle stick. Now, a lot of these pieces are the same length, and I'm just going to go across the entire popsicle stick. And then you can fill in any areas with any extra strands. And then I applied more hot glue, and I'm going to lay my finished hat on top of the popsicle stick. I have this large wooden bead that I got from Hobby Lobby. It has a bigger hole than most of them. I'm going to take three of the strands from the mop head and string them through the wooden bead. You can use the end of a paintbrush to help you push them through. I'm going to make the strands even on both sides and I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue to the wooden bead and I'm going to place that right below the rim of the hat. And there we go. Now we have this adorable Americana gnome with a little mustache. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, transfers, tissue paper, and stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.